Hello again, this is Dr. Obsidia. Today we're playing XCOM 2 War of the Chosen with the Long War mod installed. So we're going to take a look at this mod. It's beta 3. We're we'll playing on veteran and uh, let's see, uh, some of the options we're going to enable here. The, we're going to enable the Chosen. We get the resistance orders. It's always fun. It's part of the expansion. And um, we allow our XCOM soldiers to be really buff. They can get multiple class abilities at the same rank with the AP points. We can make uh, really good soldiers. Um, I think we'll just start normal. Don't have to do any of this stuff and of course I'm not going to do Grim Horizon. I did that before. That's pretty tough. <laughs> By the end of the game you're really in it. Um, and especially with Long War I'm not sure how it'll play. So uh, we could take the Skirmisher or Templar um, or start the Reaper here. I think we'll just go ahead and go well, with what we've got. I'm not going to do Iron Man simply because uh, I'm not sure how well it's going to run. It may crash, maybe buggy. We may have to uh, restart some parts just in case. But we'll be playing Iron Man like. Uh, I'm not going to reload any saves if I, you know, screw up. Uh, integrated content. No, let's go ahead and do everything that we can. Uh, they did a, uh, disable this because of crashes, uh, but we will run the Nest and the Lost Town or Tower. And we'll go through all of the cutscenes. We're in. But I don't know for how long. You seeing this? Way too much security, even for Advent. That's no ordinary gene therapy clinic. They were telling the truth. Or they're leading us into a trap. A really obvious trap. We'd need an army to march in there right now. I've got a better idea. Outrider, this is central. Go. Ask of me. I just need additional time. Did you say something? You're one of those. You must understand. I had no choice. Outrider, report. So, you do exist. Outrider to Avenger, I have visual confirmation. Are you sure? Reapers are always sure. I'll take your word for it. Cover your tracks and get the hell out of there. They can't know we were here. Yet. Understood. Now the real war begins. of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. 
Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the Elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Okay, so the load screens do take a while. I may end up pausing through some of it um, just to avoid making it uh, painfully long videos just uh, due to load screens. Uh, XCOM 2 is pretty notorious for some of the longer load screens that are uh, in the game. Um, and of course, the, the Long War, uh, well, XCOM 2, War of the Chosen, uh, has a long load screen, and then add the mods on top of it and Long War and it definitely gets longer and longer. Um, I think that uh, for the most part, I can probably pause through a lot of it, and you'll get these false starts too. I've I've tested it, and uh, I've only had a few crashes, but uh, not any recently. So we're gonna see how it goes. And here's the infiltration. For anybody who's just joining from the last campaign that I played or uh, doesn't know much about XCOM 2, basically XCOM 1 we failed and XCOM failed and the aliens took over the world. So we're trying to take it back now. So that's exactly what happened when I played the first playthrough. Uh, we didn't do so well and XCOM had to scatter. So they're not gone, but they are pretty messed up. So this is the new resistance stepping forward. lag just uh, like I said the loading does take a little bit of time okay so our first mission is just we're ambushing enemy troops we just need to kill people the heart of a man still beats inside me we the skirmishers were created by the false gods of this world to serve and die as their puppets we retain all that we were and more, and our prowess in battle serves us well in our cause. In close combat, none can stand opposed to us. Okay, so we have a skirmisher. Uh, that's interesting. That's one way of putting it. Prostopi. And, uh, let's see. Actually, we need to modify the options for long war. Um, campaign here. Uh, let's see. Damage roulette. We're going to kick that up a bit. Uh, hidden potential is always good. Hidden potential. Randomness. Let's kick it up to 
Random's always good. I mean, it is, after all, um, you know, XCOM, and it's a bunch of random. Red Fog, I have always loved that. Uh, the more damage you get, the less accurate you are, and the more panicky you get, but also it will apply it to the aliens, too, so we can, you know, changes the dynamics of the game. Also, the mod aiming angles, uh, I think it's installed, so the closer we get to flanking, the better a chance you got to hit, too. Uh, let's see, abilities. Uh, we're not going to view the lock perks or anything. I think the rest is all pretty much set. So, okay. Let's see how we do here. Since we have a skirmisher, we could actually take him up high. Um, we could even get in here, although it's going to yeah, right. do that. That'll break concealment. I don't recall asking for your permission. This way. Understood. Go, go, go. No need to ask twice. Excellent. Stay focused. I think I could certainly come up with a better course of action. On my way. Get a few overwatches. Not likely that we're going to trigger anything just because of the concealment. The officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Good high cover right here. Um, our guys are pretty much all just uh, worthless at this point. Um, don't think they'll turn the corner. They'll probably just keep walking here. So let's uh, let's get yeah. our skirmisher in close. Oh, get ready. Watch him. I do want to get uh, a couple people up on the balcony. Don't make me beg. Yes. All right, sir. High cover is always ideal. Understood. Could go inside too. Um, of course, with the aiming angles, uh, that's not going to be ideal. I think. As long as we don't break any glass going in, it might be okay. I believe this place is getting it done. Let's see. Is there any other high cover we can get behind? Whatever this thing is. Uh, Inside here, like I said, they're probably going to keep patrolling this way, so um, it's all low cover here, low cover, low cover, so uh, I guess it's better than where we're at. At once, Master. She called me Master. Captain of Crush. Interesting name. It's too close. Ten four. Come on. Yeah, we're going to open fire this round. We'll go on overwatch with everybody, um, but open fire with the skirmisher, because he gets two shots. Ooh. Got a few These guys make up the bulk of more. the advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well-equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. And he's, Scooter's the one that sees those, so I don't want to trigger those just yet. Um, I think Scooter could probably uh, fall back a bit. Roger that. There we go. He should still see... Yeah, we can still see the, the main watch. group. I don't want to do that with him. Now they've got a good position up here. Yeah. Overwatch. Captain of Crush. Uh, change his name to Captain Crunch. That was a good serial I had back in the day. Alright. Um, could flash them, I guess. Uh, could just open fire. I think we're gonna kill them. Let's see. I will hit the officer. Okay, people, coming in hot! Light them up, guys. Oh, I'm looking for this. 
Well, how about that? Yeah. That's all you got. I don't think so. Misses. Okay, good kill. Cool. Cool. That wasn't great. Oh, that did trigger them. Okay, so... This Advent Gunner uh, is a risk. We're not going to be able to hit him from here. don't think we can throw any grenades far enough. I was kind of hoping we wouldn't trip those guys, but we run behind high cover um, right here. I think Let's that's what move. We're gonna do. Don't want to lose the skirmisher too early. <laughs> we're gonna get some fire here. That one hurt. Yeah, he may go down. I really thought we wouldn't uh, have to worry about that. Is that all you got? And they would just patrol into us after they heard it. Well, so far he's doing all right. Uh oh, this guy's a troublemaker. Yeah, I figured he would be. Can we hit him with a flash? Yes. Let's hit him with a flash and knock his uh, Overwatch off. All right. We can pull the trooper. Um, I'm gonna run over here. Run over here. Let's go. Gunner is flanked, but we can't really get a good shot on him. Oh, too bad. Let's take what happened here, learn from it, and move forward. He gets a hit and run. We'll take another shot at him then. And another miss. Understood. Sentry is definitely a problem. We'll try to take him down. Let's nice kill. Take care of your firearm, and it will take care of you. Let's do this. He can't see anything, but he probably can hit some with a flash. Can hit two of them with a flash. You Let's like? hit those two. He was disoriented, so at least we uh, have a chance to survive it. Huh. 25%. We'll just overwatch. Um, this guy over here. Does he get a flank? Yes, he does. Let's take it. Boy, they're having a terrible time hitting that guy. Okay, overwatch here. Um, what do you need? Her over kind of help keep an eye on things from up high because they get the elevation that's nice. Ah, too bad. I still have much to learn. Well, she's having a good time over there. I'm under fire! All right. Pull the guy that is uh, overwatching. Try to pull him in. Yeah, we got him. Nice. I'm here because yeah. the fate of humanity is at stake. I can run here, um, pick these up. Let's go. Just out in the open now. If you um, think it could be useful, why not hang on to it? It's a bit of a risk, uh, but I think might be able to get the kills in. Yeah, I think we can go right here. I'm tired of waiting around. There's a flank. Both of them. Let's get the gunner first. Good kill. You want some more? Weapons burning ammo fast. Very well. See him, so we would like to flash him again. Move. Keep him disoriented. I'm going to get a little bit of an aiming angle here. I'll take the shot. Not even close. Yeah, 
I think this is where we're gonna get the kill. If we're lucky. Oh. Is okay. that your best? Don't think we'll see from this height. Overwatch. Overwatch in case he tries to close in. Him. Let's hit him with a frag just to see, uh, you know, screw up his aim a bit. Oh, that killed him. Nice. Although they bear some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion, their genetic structure now includes human That was DNA. a great grenade. They are stronger than ever, with an even greater psionic potential. Okay, so we've got to worry about this guy now. Um, let's see. I left my skirmisher hanging out to dry, and that was a pretty big risk. Let's see what he can do here. Can go high. That's probably a good thing. Well, Let's pilot the skirmisher. Here. Weapons He's ready. He's got a 42 in the trooper. Let's go ahead and take it. Damn. All right, no problem. These two aren't very useful way back here anymore. We can probably move them up. Understood. Those are some pretty bad shots by my team. These troopers are living charmed lives. Oh, get some lag here. There we go. Yeah, here we go. Oh, we don't have a. Uh, oh, we can flash them. Pathetic whelp. Finally. Fifty-nine and forty-five. We'll bolt over the fifty-nine. Wow. Oh joy. Hong Fong. I understand. He's got a 50 and a 20. I yeah, take the 50. Jeez. Seems doable. Overwatch. Oops, I did not mean to do that. That was a misclick. She won't stand there. Be in a bit of trouble. Smiles upon me. Oh, well, at least she didn't die. I actually lost my mouse um, button one, so I uh, ended up replacing the mouse. Uh, well, it's, it's actually uh, a replacement, it's a temporary replacement, and I'm using a cheap mouse at the moment. Hmm. Let's try to take him down. Um, and then my other one's under warranty still, so he's, uh, he's getting replaced. Right with me. Or fixed, I'm not sure which. So, I may get some misclicks until I get my mouse back. 19 and 19. Okay, we'll save that. You don't we'll go over here, so she's behind some cover now. She feels better. We'll come back to her in a minute. Come on, move! Got a pretty nice backpack. Come back to him in a minute too. Okay, looks like we're gonna have some uh, people locked and loaded that don't have great shots. Wow, heavy nines are missing. Yeah, Fong here. Let's get him in a better position. Yes. Uh, Whatever you say. 38. Let's take 38 on the uninjured guy. Yeah, I didn't think it would Get hit, but... Now he could 
flash again. I think we're gonna do that again. We're just gonna keep them flash. We've got plenty of flash bangs. I don't know. But they're still flashed. Okay, so we're gonna overwatch with the rest of them. They are flanked. They're in bad situation. They're gonna probably have to move and get shot. Shot at. equipment. Wow. Two hits. Um. Wow. Ugh. What's our skirmisher doing? Let's get him in this. Gotta run right in this mess. Oh. I guess he was overwatched. I guess I didn't realize that right away. Gotta watch for that. It's a st simple rookie mistake. Take him down. <laughs> or not, jeez. Do this guy then. <laughs> Never mind, 78 miss. Skirmisher's having a bad day. So. Run inside. <laughs> Kill him. Impudent whelp. Is that will enjoy slaying We're gonna grenade this last guy if we have to. I'm just gonna, well, I'm gonna run inside and just shoot him. Point blank. Should hit. Yeah. How many is that confirmation? Now? Area secured. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Well, we did take some damage. We got lucky. Oh, uh, gotta be more careful than that. Nobody died. That's the good news. According to Advent officials, recent attacks by dissident elements operating outside of the city centers have done little to slow the progress of Advent's ongoing development or outreach programs. Voluntary citizen emigration numbers are reportedly at their highest level in recent years. Again, the load screens are pretty long. I guess my, my computer's not so slow. It's pretty fast, so I can get through it pretty quick. Our shots were pretty low. We've got all rookies. Our damage was low. Everything was pretty bad. <laughs> we even had some people left hanging out to dry. I didn't take the first mission too seriously. I probably should have. But uh, nobody's dead. End the Elder's false vision. That is the purpose of all scriptures. Until it is done, there can be no other path for us. We've got a lot of promotions to deal with now. Um, some supplies, not much. Yeah, a few uh, modular things that we can pop on our weapons. Incoming transmission. Okay, well, first of all, we're going to go to the armory. Um, check our soldiers here. So our skirmishers wounded. We got some wounded. Um, we'll check the wounded first, see what they got. Uh, here's a rookie. She's gifted. Wow, we got some genius people in our team, too. That's Your pretty nice would be starting proud out. of what we've managed to do here. What uh, you've managed to do with this ship. I just wish he had lived long enough to see us fight back. To know that it wasn't all for nothing. Trust me, he knows. If there was one thing your father always kept in mind, it was his faith in humanity. He knew we could win on our own terms. Captain of Crush here's got pretty good aim. Um, not much else going for him, but we'll see what he gets here. Uh, he is going to be the assault. So, I guess that's alright. Run in and stun, blow things away with a shotgun. Um, not pretty much else going for him. I mean, he won't hit, or he won't miss with a shotgun. Uh, here's another wounded Olga here, uh, which is our gifted. Here's the gifted combat intelligence. We'll promote her up and see what she gets. She's got good aim. Pretty decent hack. A gunner. Okay, yeah. We'll take that. Machine gunner with area suppression plus the sentry, um, the suppression. So that's all good. Suppression, area suppression. Gunner. All right. Now the unwounded ones. Uh, goblin 
let's see, a goblin here, Kong Fong. Promote him up. He's got good mo mobility. He's got really good dodge. Um, but his aim is pretty garbage. Okay, heavy weapons. Yeah, he can get in there and shoot. That sounds good. Rocket launcher, flamethrower, get kind of up close and dirty with the flamethrower. Scooter. Scooter uh, has really good aim. Uh, okay hack, okay dodge. I wonder if Scooter's going to be our... Hey, sniper, sharpshooter, good job. Uh, that'll definitely help. Her aim's already really high. A little bit of dodge, low health. Yeah, that'll that'll work well for her. Uh, here, Ann Lawrence. Uh, good move. Good, great dodge. At least I think that's great. I mean, I'm not exactly sure. I've <laughs> never really played the, the uh, long war. Shinobi, okay. Yeah. So she's got great moves. She's got great mobility. Um, the, and a great dodge now. So that's going to be good for her to run in and slash stuff. So we're getting a pretty good spread right now with our team. Now here's our gifted. Chase Cookie's got good aim. Um, good aim, good dodge. Uh, oh, a little bit okay hack. Let's see what he gets here. Specialist. Yeah, nice. Okay, a little bit okay hack. That'll help us hack some. And the aim is always a good thing for uh, specialists. And our other gifted person here. Good health, bad aim, good hack, and uh, okay move. Uh, nothing too spectacular here. Uh, I would say the health is about the only thing she has going for her. Okay, so grenades. Yeah, that's good. Launch grenades in there and blow stuff up. If you can't aim very well, hit him with a grenade. Yeah, our team did pretty well with that. Now let's see what else we got here. We've got Minje Juggernaut Chun. Um, He's uh, got the old-fashioned armor on there. Uh, Matt Wheeler, let's see, he's pretty bad at everything. Uh, okay, we've got somebody who is gifted here. Above average with a pretty good move. Uh, here's another gifted with a really great uh, run ability here, uh, movement. But other than that, pretty horrible. We don't really have great aim all throughout. We've got a couple with okay aim. Here's a 68, a 67, um, a 69 down at the bottom with a juggernaut. Not a whole lot of great aim, but our sharpshooter is pretty tight. So overall, I think that's good. Let's do some research. Meet Tygen. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power. Yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. Okay, got some new research here. Modular weapons is, uh, allows us to put some of those things on our guns. Shoot a little bit better. Um, Yeah, this is uh, basic uh, extra stuff. Resistance communication costs us some intel, um, but we do get uh, the ability to communicate with other resistance around our area. So I think we might uh, let's start with modular weapons, just so we can get our weapons a little bit up to scratch. The area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. We'll begin work immediately. I'll send word when a complete report is available. We'll talk to engineering next. 
Okay. Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer. At your service. You are probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. That's cool. Shen was uh, one of my favorite characters Incoming from the original. Transmission. Do you ever regret leaving the city? You must miss some of it. The food? The warm beds? Honestly, none of that really bothers me. What I miss the most is my equipment. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Advent probably had a pretty nice lab set up for you. There was certainly no shortage of resources on their side. Don't worry. I'm sure the commander will find something nice for you. Hey, commander. You'd be surprised how big of a difference some of these things can make in combat, commander. With a few supplies, I can manufacture anything we need in no time. There's room for us to expand our facilities on board the Avenger, Commander, but we'll need more engineers to clear out space for construction first. So we're going to the resistance ring, I think, so we can get our covert actions. Um, the Guerrilla Tactics School is a pretty big deal, too, uh, so we can train people up in the, in the positions I think that we need. Uh, however, uh, I do hope that we get good stuff from the resistance ring we'll start work on the new facility especially right the away. covert yeah. operations are a I'll huge deal it's up and running and uh, i think we're going to build a uh, fulton harness so that we can get people out if they're hurt or we need to evac somebody quickly Incoming so we don't have to worry about carrying them yeah, okay hello commander the council you once knew is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. With one exception. It is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the Resistance from the inside. It was these Resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, Resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. Okay. Uh, Resistance the orders? The factions have pledged their support to XCOM, and they're ready to carry out your orders. As our influence with these groups increases, our capabilities will grow in kind. That's going to be done when the resistance rings up. Um, probably won't be till this next supply drop, as I recall. Here's uh, New Mexico, our faction here. Uh, they're all gathering intel, which is good. We need uh, missions. Let's go ahead and tell them to do that for now. Okay, let's talk to Bradford. Commander, good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge the nerve center of our operation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry. Not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. Definitely gonna investigate the black market Avenger right away. New course. Okay. Commander, the Avengers remote scanning capabilities will help us search the area for clues or other resources. 
It's going to take some time, though. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Commander, so far these skirmishers have been true to their word. Their operative has just relayed the coordinates of their acting headquarters here, which considering their history is a big step for them. It'd be worth spending some time here to investigate the area and meet their leader, Betos. You know them as they were, the soldiers of Advent. Now they are free to choose. If you stay your course, Commander, they will stand with you until the end. My kind were once the puppets of Advent, slaves to the Elder's twisted vision. Now, slowly we are freed, and all who see their bonds broken are driven to fight the Elders with a rage that cannot be stopped. By our own hands, we will destroy all that the Elders value. Okay, so um, the Solar Warriors are here to help us out. Uh, Recruiting an engineer is going to be really nice when we can send somebody on that mission. Uh, private channel, weak points, I'm not sure what those are, we'll find out right now. All skirmishers, all those freed from the Elder's bonds Ooh. are eager That's to pretty nice. Orders, Once we start shredding, uh, shreds an additional plus one. That'll be powerful later on uh, when they get two, three, four armor. Um, all mission timers increase too. That's really good early on when we have to take things a little slower. So that's good. We'll be able to do that. Um, next time. All right, uh, we'll stop there, and the next time you join us, we're going to start scanning. We're going to see what missions pop up and see how we do with the actual game. Uh, the introduction is pretty much finished now. Thanks for joining. Have a great day.